appreciate it. Now, I know he's a bit of a shrinking violet, but our lead guitar player over there deserves a lot of credit for what racket we're making up here on stage. All the way from the deepest pioneer woods of East Texas, that there is the Chapel Hill Bulldog himself. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Ken Buckley. So here you go. It's, 30th, it's the 30th anniversary of this band. You need to know something. 27 years ago, we got, we were making our first West Coast trip in this white van we had that we bought from a church. Vanna White? Vanna White, that's what, that's what it's called. <laughs> and Vanna White broke down in Vacaville, which I found out since has a prison and a bull in it. And we had to stay there three days and put, and get some mechanic to fix the van. And so we bowled. And that was all I really remember. I had three, I had three day extravaganza in Vacaville. Then we came back to, to San Francisco to play our big show at a place called the Paradise. Paradise Bar, Paradise Lounge. The old stories probably know what I'm talking about. And Rhett had written this brand new song that he said, it mentions my name in it. Do y'all think that's okay? And we were like, as long as you mention everyone, then it's gonna work. But we cannot just have one name mentioned and he pouted, and then we relented. Which is the way it rolls, right? <laughs> but he wrote this, this song, and I, I remember him singing it, and he's, a, and he's a singing by, you know, being in a bar in Chicago, and, and um, then, you know, drinking, drinking liquor and hitting on bar girls, right? And I thought, when you're in a bar in Chicago, and, or fuck anywhere, really, and you're just hitting on the girl, and you're drinking the liquor, there's always some shitty shitty blues band on stage, right? Just kind of blowing through their blues fucking licks. And I thought, so it needs a fucking, I guess I, that's up to me, man. We're just gonna do some shitty blues licks and it goes like this. Oh, man. 